I'm not going to bury the lead. Magdalene Bisaggio, a shitty comic book writer who's managed to fail upwards, posted a series of tweets claiming that Sean Gordon Murphy used and abused her. And that's the last time I'm going to use that pronoun because when you start playing these kinds of games with people's lives, you have forfeit politeness. Mags is trans, for those who don't know, and got clout in the comic book industry solely because of that. Mags is a terrible writer, utterly incapable of telling a decent story, but constantly rewarded with work and opportunities because, as we're about to see, Mags isn't the most sane individual. This is a, and I'll be generous, person who will exploit their status to get what they want. In fear of Mags doing that, along with your boy Zach making 80,000 videos about Mags, is the only reason Magdalene Visaggio has gotten work. As of late, Mags' star has fallen. Trans is so 2017. Now it's all about being a POC, non-binary POS who looks like a black version of its path. Mags doesn't have the complexion for the promotion and can't sell comics, and apparently can't sell a TV show either, since Vagrant Queen got cancelled, tallying the lowest ratings of a sci-fi show in years. So Mags is feeling salty, and being an attention whore, wanted to exploit the recent bevy of sexual abuse claims coming out from the comic book industry. Now, some of those claims are probably true. Some of them are bullshit. It's pretty easy to tell which are which, but none of them are quite like Max's claims. Max claims that writer-artist Sean Gordon Murphy abused Max. Last time I checked, Sean is married to a woman, he's straight, and there is zero history of any allegations against him. I've literally never heard anything negative said about this man from anyone I've known who's spoken to him, worked with him, or known him. So we're supposed to believe that a straight married man decided to have his way with a trans woman who really doesn't seem like his type. Oh wait, that's not what Mags claims. No, Mags claims this, quote, I don't want to get into a whole thing about what happened between me and Sean Murphy. I've covered that already elsewhere, and it's draining to recount. But while I need to categorically state that he never touched me, reading the accounts of others felt uncomfortably familiar. I'll repeat that again without the silly voice, so you understand why this pisses me off so much. Quote, I don't want to get into a whole thing about what happened between me and Sean Murphy. I've covered that already elsewhere, and it's draining to recount. But while I need to categorically state that he never touched me, reading accounts from others felt uncomfortably familiar. So Mags implies that Sean committed some kind of sexual impropriety, couldn't find the tweets where this happened, lets it sit long enough that people think it's actually true, then doubled back and claimed it never happened, while still trying to make it sound like it did. I'm not making this up, Max continues, quote, I'm not looking for comfort and sympathy, so please no internet hugs or advice. I just want to talk about what happened to me this weekend. Again, Sean never touched me, or intimated that he might do so. I am not accusing him of assault, but he did hook me, and use me. Yeah, that sounds like bullshit. I'm not even going to mince words. I think you're lying. I think you're lying because you want attention. I think you're lying because you're jealous of Sean's hard-earned and deserved success. I think you're jealous of real victims of abuse. And I think you're desperate to prove you're a real woman, so you're trying to play the damsel. And as someone who's been abused himself, and knows several people who've been abused in ways that are unbelievably horrendous, how dare you? How dare you? Do you have no shame? None. That you would put shit out there like this, implying this man sexually assaulting you, knowing full fucking well that didn't happen. Are you that desperate for attention that you'd lie about a crime for some fucking Twitter likes? Shit like this is exactly the reason why people don't believe these kinds of accusations. You're treating this like it's a fucking game. It's not a game. This is someone's life. You're ruining shit you can't even begin to understand because you want some fucking Twitter clicks. And let's just hear what this not actual abuse was. Quote, Everything from the unfulfilled promises of future professional and financial assistance to love bombing, all in the service of making sure I defend him when he did problematic shit. Textbook stuff I spent days thinking over and talking about with other women he did it to. First off, you're not a woman, so you can stop that shit right there. You're a trans woman. Get the shit right. Second of all, Telling you he would help your bullshit undeserved career and then realizing it wasn't worth his time is not evidence of any kind of abuse, misuse, or anything remotely problematic. It sounds more like you were trying to grift off him and he went along with it until he got tired of it, realized you weren't worth his time, or he did the typical industry thing of saying he'd do something he had no intention of doing. Welcome to the real world, Mags, where people don't give you shit for free. None of this sounds like he used you. 
He got nothing out of it and you have nothing to offer. You didn't get him any deals. You didn't get him any gigs. You didn't connect him to the industry. He has no reason whatsoever to do anything to you. Those are all things you wanted from him. This sounds like bullshit. And Max just keeps going. Quote, what scares me more than anything Sean did was how easily he did it to me. I wanted some of his shine and he validated me during a period of intense career anxiety. I was not smarter than anyone else. I was not smart enough to see it. So you were grifting him, using him to get attention and validation. And once he decided to stop doing that for whatever reason, you got mad. But you couldn't say shit because there's nothing in his history that's ever gone public or in the whisper networks you'd never be involved in because you're not a woman. So you sat on it until now where any jackass, such as yourself, can make a random accusation and get back at him by tearing him down. You're trying to ruin this man's career, ruin his life, for what? What are you getting out of this? You're absolute shit for doing this, Max. Someone who was actually hurt won't be heard because people are listening to your bullshit story about Sean Gordon Murphy using you for effectively no fucking reason at all because you have nothing to offer. You should be disgusted with yourself for playing this fucking game and I hope Sean Gordon Murphy takes it to you. He probably won't. He'll probably apologize for doing something he didn't do, but he should fucking destroy you. And being the bad storyteller that you are, you couldn't even keep up the lie. Quote, so let's take the focus off of Sean, because that's not what matters here. It's the fear. The fear that someone else could do the same or worse to me, and I might never realize what's happening until it's happened. So you want us to think Sean abused you, but you don't want us to focus on him, even though he could potentially do it to someone else. Instead, you want us to focus on you and the off chance that the thing that never happened will never happen again, but only to you. All the other people, the men and women who could actually be victimized, fuck them. All that matters is you. Then Mag says, quote, Over and over, in conversations with other women also dealing with the latest waves of exposures, there was a simple lesson. You need to protect yourself, and you should do so by assuming every man you deal with is a potential abuser. So they should be wary of you then, right? You're playing this fucking narrative of all men are rapists. That's exactly the same shit said about transgender people. That's exactly the same shit said about gay people. That's exactly the same shit said about black people about a hundred years ago. Every time we hear all of X are rapists, it turns out to be bigoted bullshit. So why the fuck are you trotting it out? I mean, let's be real. The people you hang with are more likely to be abusers. From the male feminists to the real women who have a disturbing fascination with child sex. Looking at your Twitter feed is like looking at a future sex offender registry. So maybe you want to dial that shit back. Men aren't the problem. People like you are the problem. You're the one with the abusive personality. You publicly stated numerous times on Twitter your desire to legit harm men, women, and children who aren't trans. You appear to support sexualizing little boys by making them drag queens. You support racist violence against white people. You trivialize violence against men. You're really not the person to act like you have the better morals. You're an embarrassment. And you owe Sean Gordon Murphy an apology for your slander and defamation against him. And you owe an apology to every real victim of sexual assault who will be disbelieved because people like you lie about abuse to get attention. You should be ashamed of yourself. But that takes integrity, which, like two X chromosomes, you totally lack. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.